If you've been following my channel and my Instagram for any length of time, you probably remember the bath song. Into the bath we go. 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 Oh, I hope this one actually fits. Yep, it did. And one of the things you're probably wondering is why I don't do it anymore. I still make boards. I still make stuff that gets almost the same finish. But why don't I do the bath song anymore? Simple fact is my new shop is just way too small to have a permanent setup for the bath. And the idea of unloading and loading two gallons of mineral oil every time, I just don't like it. It's a lot of work and I'm only in the shop three days a week now. I don't live above my shop anymore. So my shop time needs to be way more efficient. So I've come up with a new method that I wanna show you today, how you get a great finish on your boards really easily using minimal tools, minimal supplies, and it's done a lot quicker. Let's get started. I've started using the all-in-one conditioner from Bumble Shoots. And the reason I like this stuff is because it goes on really thick and it kind of stays where you put it. So I like to spread it with a tongue depressor just to kind of get it all over the place, make sure I get at least mostly even coverage. I'm not worrying too much about small gaps in between the bits here, and you'll see why in a minute. But I just try to get as complete coverage as possible in a nice thin layer. Flip the board, do the same on the other side. Then I whip out one of the unsung heroes of the shop, the heat gun. And this is the trick because since this is hardened a little bit, you're going to want to soften it up so that the oil actually soaks into the board. Most of these finishes are a combination of some kind of wax and some kind of oil. And if you leave them hard like this and just buff them on, they don't really soak in. So my trick for getting them to soak in a little more than they typically would is to hit it with a heat gun. You don't have to hit it for a long time necessarily. You just want to hit it until the white parts start going clear and you can see the stuff start to run. And once it starts to run, it starts to soak into the board. And then any spots you have that are dry, you can just kind of coax a little bit of the wet oil onto it and then let it sit. And this is kind of the trick for getting really even coverage on these. If you just leave it this way and buff it, you'll have uneven coverage where the dry spots are. But if you melt it a little bit first and then spread it, that coverage is gonna be a lot more even and you're gonna be a lot happier with the final result after you buff it. And at this point, it hasn't even been all that long, but you can already see that it's starting to reconstitute itself. It's kind of crazy how quickly cold temperatures, or at least cool temperatures, can bring this stuff back to its original form. After you're done applying and hitting with the heat gun, you're gonna let that sit for about an hour or two, depending on how long it takes. Now I have the window open in my shop, so that's gonna get hard really, really quick. Once it's hard, you're done. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna buff it. I got these from Bumble Shoots. And Bubble Shoots is not paying for this, by the way. It's just the stuff I use now. But these buffing pads are great. They go right on your random orbital sander. And you just run them across the board. And the reason I don't worry so much about gaps on the board is when you buff it, you're going to fill in a lot of those anyway. Truth of the matter is, the oil doesn't penetrate that far to begin with. That's one of the reasons I stopped doing the thing with the bath. Because soaking it forever barely was making anything go inside the board. It looked really good, it felt really good, but there was one board I had that actually broke and I had to cut it apart. And when I did, I realized that the oil didn't penetrate that far to begin with. So since the oil is not penetrating that far anyway, why slow down your processes to try to get it to where you think it's all the way in, and in reality, you could have stopped hours before. So once this is hardened up, the next step is gonna be buffing. The trick here is not to overdo it. You're gonna to wanna to just make sure that you've evened it out as much as you possibly can. And no matter how much you do it, 
Whether you're using a buffing pad or a microfiber cloth, no matter how much you do it, it's not going to be perfect at this point. You don't need it to be. You just want to make sure that you've gotten as much even coverage as possible. This is the step where it becomes even. And I like to use disposable shop towels here just to give it a good final buff and really, really take off the excess and spread it out to one thin layer. And that's it. That's the process and it works beautifully. What you'll have to do after you do this process, which you have to do when you use a mineral oil bath anyway, is you have to buff this a little bit. And what I like to do is I like to let this sit at room temperature, which this office slash shop most certainly is not. So I'm gonna take this home with me tonight and this is gonna sit in my craft room at room temperature for 24 hours over a bunch of paper towels. The you know, reason is that sometimes over time as it acclimates to room temperature, some of the oil in the finish actually wicks out and you don't want that making a mess on your stuff. So anyway, that is the entire process. It's much easier than a bath. It's much faster than a bath and you'll get your boards out to your customers a whole lot quicker. I hope you learned something today. Um, if you enjoyed the video, definitely leave a comment below. Let me know what you liked about it. I'm hoping to do more of these because I have a lot of processes I've worked out and I think it's time I start teaching them to everyone else. Have a great day. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.